filthy scavengers. Bloody crows are already here for you, babe. That's all right. There you go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. There you go. Run like the wind, bullseye. And she's eating. Righto. There's another one. Jesus. I thought this paddock was almost done lambing. Apparently everything that hasn't lambed yet is upside down. My dude. My dude. Oh, fuck my titty. My titty. Jesus. That was my fault. I should have gone on the other side. Fair enough. I was just trying to get a good angle for the vlog. Fair enough. My fault. Anyway, good morning. Um, I'm sick as fuck. <laughs> it's not a good time. I can't really hear properly. I've got more slime than slug. And is that, there's another one. I think it's either a you sitting with a lamb or it's another one upside down. No, no, it's just a you with a lamb. It's all good. My eyes were playing tricks on me. Funny enough, I didn't pick this up from the holiday. I picked it up from before the holiday from the Petri dishes. So, love it. Yesterday, I found half a mob of sheep had squashed a gate and gone on to the wheat crop. Fucking live for it. Oh, what a lovely, beautiful crop. That same crop. What happened is the sheep pushed this gate down and most of the mob descended upon the crop. They must have been in there over the weekend, I suspect, to have done that much damage. Not good, not good at all. These lambs here are all first bought, were the ones that were born first. Second, apart from that mob that started at, at lambing early, theoretically in a normal year, we'll be going, or well, starting to go in November. Our first contract load is generally in November to the abattoirs. Uh, we normally fit about high 200s to mid 300s um, lambs on the truck. Got an itchy eyeball. Trying to get dad to get a license to sell meat so we can get our meat done and then sell our own. That way we are actually getting a decent price. We're not getting two, three dollars a kilo. That's really fucking bad. I saw another farm near us are starting to sell their meat for $7 a kilo, which is, you know, that's a good price. So that's my, that's, that's my two cents. I'll shut up now. Actually, I'm not going to shut up quite yet. I saw, um, some people are actually, there's butchers that sell meat online now. Like people can get meat shipped to their house. You guys could buy my meat. That sounds like I'm promoting OnlyFans. <laughs> It's like they heard me. Fucking all coming in the paddock. They heard me saying there was good feed in here. Are you serious? I don't know if you guys can see it, but the whole mob is, almost the whole mob has just come through the gate. Lucky I have slug. Why? Why, why can't I just leave the fucking gate open? Typo, quick. I need to, I need to focus. They did not want to fucking go back through. Jesus Christ, that was a fucking process. It's not like they've got no food. Oh, fucking of course. There's always one. There's always fucking one, isn't there? Typo. It's slippery. Shouldn't have come through the gate. Typo, good girl. Okay. The job I didn't need to do is now done. Really, their grass is not too bad. They've got lovely long grass. I think they were just being little shits. Like considering they were on a crop yesterday. I've just finished up here as well. Everything's fine. I wouldn't expect any problems. This is the point in the year where we're just waiting for like sheep wise we're just waiting for the lambs to grow I posted a short last week about a ewe that didn't take her lamb 
there she is there with her lamb she's still got it and they're both still alive which is great news finished here as well a whole lot of nothing absolutely nothing everyone is fine everyone's alive everyone's where they need to be no action for the slug next mob still going nothing interesting's happened i'm just checking the young the lambs that are up here they're not like they're older lambs they were the first lot of lambing this year they've already they were marked a couple months ago just need to check make sure they're still growing make sure they're all alive if they've got pat grass in their paddock if not i'll just move them but it does look like they've got quite good grass in here sheep are done we're just going to take this trailer off and then take the ranger up and put the grain trailer on hopefully we can find a hat somewhere because it is warm i'm just going to put this trailer into that bay there that lighting is working wonders for you slug let's play the game what's going to be broken today i'm hot I don't know if I've ever, you know, said about how to put a trailer on. I assume everyone that watching, that's watching this knows how to put a trailer on. But in case you don't, first of all, you back up and you match the knob up with the knob holder. Then you put the knob down. You usually have a pin. We've got a bit of wire because our pins keep going missing. Next, chains. Cross them over. Undo the D-shackle, put the D-shackle through the hole. In the event you lose the trailer and this comes off, these will keep the trailer attached to the car. Trust me, they fucking work. If your chains look like this, they are too tight, you need more links. If they touch the ground, they are too loose, you need less links. If they look like this, you're cooking. Need the adapter. Most modern trailer. Oh, I forgot to put that up. You meant to put that up. I'll do that after. Most modern trailers just have this. You plug, plug that straight into that. The older trailers and, you know, for some reason, most farm trailers, you've got to have an adapter. They've got this. Plug this with a little knob there down the bottom. There's a little thing. Put that in the hole. There's lots of putting things in holes with trailers. Now that they've been connected, you connect them to the ute. You put this in those holes. More holes. Next, you can take this off. I just flip it up. In the event something happens and I decide I want to leave this trailer in the paddock to fucking rust. Like put the knob in the hole, push it through, do it up. Are we working? We're just going to go off the assumption. We're going to let it sit, charge the battery for a minute. It's going to work, I promise. My God, it's going to bloody work. Why aren't you working? Oh, back one's opening. Why is the front one not opening? I've driven around for a little bit. So I'm going to see, are we working? Clothes. Can you do anything? Love it. <laughs> Open the back one. Is it, are you opening it? Yes. It was working. It's not working. Of course it's fucking not. The electrical plugs undid themselves overnight. Could you imagine? Finally on our way to the Marinos to feed them. Liam's gonna solder those wires together tomorrow so it won't happen again. Marinos. Let's get you girls fed. I forgot to film it, they've been fed. Next ones is those ones in that paddock there, gotta feed them. There's not that many sheep in this paddock. That's pretty much it. <laughs> They're, that's the leftover of this paddock. This paddock. Feeding these ladies now. There are they're the last ones on my list over here. And then we're heading up to the fat lambs. That's the fat lambs fed. Trailers off. Schmiggles has the wiggles. She's very excited. These are all the work dogs. That is Slug. That is Goof, Slug's half brother. That is Smiggles, Slug and Goof's mum. 
That's Ab. That's D. She's a Border Collie cross Kelpie. And that's Leo, the grump. Smiggles spends her day in retirement. Smiggles spends her retirement eating the chicken eggs. That's why she has such a lovely coat. Oh, you decided you were coming over. You fucking grump. That is your daughter, you perv. Oh, we've got a turtle. Better flip her over. Typo, no. Typo. Typo. Sometimes typo has too much Leo in her. Can you tell that she is his? Did you have a good day today, Slug? You have eye boogers. Thanks for watching. What's up, members? We're in my home garden today. Family's house tonight, and I was always taught to not turn up empty-handed.